and Virginia Wake Forest to Omaha teams a year ago fighting for a series win. First ball put in play is to third base. Hanson, which you've seen from Williams so far, though. And it continues. Base hit into center field, and he has the first Wake hit of the day. Now a base hit to center. And here's Tellier, a bid for another near that Friday location, and he'll clear that shorter section of bleachers this go round. Wake Forest with an early 2 0 lead. Slider, Jason. Hung it up in the zone, and that's how you're supposed to hit a slider that's hung up in the zone to the pull side in the air. Whew. Ball's absolutely smoked out of here. Very talented. Clubs want to stay away from that today. This is to the backstop. Wayland trots down into scoring position. Deuce is wild to four. Here's a 2 2 2 out offering, and he sends that up the middle. It works through into center field. Virginia will score in the opening inning as well. Waylon around to touch the plate, cutting the Deacons' lead in half. Williams seems to have a beat on it and does. 3 2 coming to Ference. They will check. And the Virginia backstop did not go around. Where seizing the chance to finish has proven costly mm. when not applied. This is lined into right field, and Hansen to that end. Just totally changes the situation. There you go. He gets a chance to bat and capitalizes. They will put the stop sign up for Anderson. Capitalizing on such moments today will be key. Waylon in the air to right. Not getting those close calls. Here's a 3 2. This is. Into left, and that's going to be out of O'Farrell's reach. Another base hit. He exemplifies it. Williams on the move. This is put in play to right center. That is sinking, and it's going to fall. Runner on the move from first, and that is hit right to Ford. He'll be able to carry it to the bag for a double play. Did it. Ranges over near the line. He'll make the play. Another runner left at third base. 3-1 to Didowick. And ball four means Didowick is aboard and the inning continues. Well, my former player, Kevin O'Sullivan, tremendous relationship. Well, when you can marry the past with the present in that fashion, it can create a pretty substantial future. He will, sinking liner into center field. Here comes the throw to the plate. It will be cut off. And Henry Godbout has tied it up for Virginia. Giant program, look at that. And then you have guys like Jacob Ferentz come in and contribute. He has his second home run of the weekend. The bomb in the eighth on Friday night that served as the exclamation point. And a shot in the bottom of the third inning on this Sunday that gives the Hoos their first lead of the day. As the left-hander delivers to Anderson and the, well, the tools there for Ethan Anderson as well. Hanson, a base hit into right center, and here is Anderson. Going first to third on the base knock on the corners for Virginia with two down. Who has driven home 18 on the year. Ballpark will hold it in the end. So will King and that's the inning. Yet still in search of his first here today. Mm. Won't be when a what a weekend he has put together at the plate. Two home runs, number seven and eight on the year yesterday. And he just became the standalone team leader one more time with his ninth to pull the Deeks within one. Early in the process. A 3-2. Ball four to the Wake Forest catcher. Ballestero into the left field bleachers. Wake Forest reclaims the lead. Well, a return to Charlottesville for Tate Ballestero. 
marked by a Sunday home run that puts his crew out of Winston-Salem back out front. There's that three ball count. Even with two strikes, it's a hitter advantage count. We have seen that slot, a secondary leadoff spot, be very effective as Hanson has been defensively. This is line to him. He gets the leather underneath it. Well, I don't care if it's an off-speed pitch or a fastball. Speaking of leadoff men, those two recent deep Virginia runs in the postseason, and the desire was there to manufacture one. Deep in the hole, third and short. On display between these two programs this weekend have been it. As Ferentz draws the walk, throwing lefties for Wake Forest. Could be a couple. The pick required at first, not there. Runner coming home safely. Godbout slides head first across the plate to tie the game. Draws a walk. Yeah. Puts it in play. And it will trickle away to load the bases for Virginia. 2-2. Two -two. Right where it needed to be for Wene to take it to the bag and end the inning. Both a player and a coach in professional baseball. So the pedigree there. Ball four to Ballestero. Bounced up the middle. And it goes right between the Virginia fielders. Wake Forest is going to reclaim the lead in the sixth. The rest of his career <laughs> at Wake Forest. Not with swings like this. The Deacons' lead will grow on an RBI single from Javar Williams. Here's a liner off the bat of Tellier. His major weekend has its latest contribution. All the way around is Williams and the Deeks building on the lead further here in the sixth. Advantage. This is to Godbout. Spins around, stays on his feet. Ford to the gap in left center will be cut off by King and Henry Ford coasts on down into second base. A called strike three. That is off the pitcher and trickles away far enough that the throw is going to be wide. Ford comes around to score. Still running is Godbout, and he will be safely into third. This play, it is often looked at to determine whether the runner remained in the running path. Because again, the reason that running lane is on the outside of the bag is you have to give some type of path. Umpire set to emerge, and it is going to be an out call at first base to end the inning. You get a couple of Omaha teams together who won their division last year. Well, you have to look at the battle that's been going on as he and Taylor have gone back and forth for the team lead. Kind of right toward the catcher. Again, see how he's walking towards first base? And this is going to go through the wickets and trickle away from Ference, up from his 217 average overall. This again to the backstop. And that's going to be a run. When Nay comes trotting home, it is... 10-5 Wake Forest. Over you if you go down. Officially his 40th AB. Sends it into center. Should be the frame. Portal, you just basically reload, <laughs> not rebuild. Ferentz gives it a ride again. This keeps carrying, and that's into the Virginia bullpen. A multi-home run day for the Cavaliers backstop. His third of the weekend. Backside oppo bomb. 95 miles an hour. Just backspun it into the bullpen. This kid's strong. He'll get it rolling. 
I love that note we shared on him Friday. Only who to homer in every round of the postseason. Puts it in play here. Anderson's going to be headed to second base. Well, there's a start. Ball four. O'Farrell, they were shading him left field side. This is going to go into the grasp of the right fielder, Nelson. And the throw in is going to have Hanson hung up between first and second. They're going to call him out of the base paths and a double play of the unusual variety. 0 2 to Bobby Whalen. Right at Wood A. And a promising start to the inning for Virginia. 95 miles an hour. That one hit Salki, though. Right back at him, though. By the time he gathers this up, Ford safely at first base. Didowick tees off. Did he keep it fair? Yes, he did. A home run for Harrison Didowick. There was but one question on the minds of everyone at the dish. Was it going to wrap around that pole? And all of the sudden, Virginia right there in the eighth inning. So you talk about a freebie. He will take ball four. Opener scored a run. Mm, Who's have left 11 total? And as King backs up to let this fall into his glove. Third base side over in front of the Virginia dugout. Enough room for Becker into the game at third base to make the catch for UVA. One down. 3-1 to an A. Complete pitch now up in a prime spot at the plate. And he is sat down. Ball four. Couple of walks in the frame. Up. Mm. Kevin Jaxel with strike three for the visiting club. O'Farrell jumps on the first pitch, deep to center, still carrying, reaching up at the <laughs> wall is King. In play, Houston, two gone. What a beautiful game. All comes down to this, an 0-2. Right field. Backing up near the wall, reaching up, and it's into the bullpen oh. as Casey Salki has tied it in the bottom of the ninth. Salki with his sixth home run of the season, and it is a 10 10 contest. We talk about Virginia and their two strike hitting. Here he's going backside, not trying to do too much. The ball's elevated, he gets it in the jet stream. Ford set down. David Falco Jr. making sure the game continues. 2 2 in the air to left. Didowick. Reaches up. That leadoff hitter really slows your offense down. Williams puts the first pitch in play. Did it busy. Tie the ball game. You see what I mean? Twos Absolutely. and fives. Absolutely. Twos and fives. Down to third. Becker across the diamond. A one, two, three, tenth for Jaxel. This among the more memorable. And Did it draws a walk. Bunted third base side. That will move the runner into scoring position. Well executed by Henry Godbout on the sacrifice. Outstanding right there. Well, King and uh oh, Nelson talking about it. The ball to the turf. Didowick had to hold, so he simply moves up to third. Wake Forest. 
a 9-3 winner yesterday. And this is bounced right back to the pitcher. A little trouble gathering it up. Dinowick is safe at the plate, and Virginia has walked it off to claim the series over Wake Forest. Thank <laughs> you.